Hello friends, welcome to Ankpro Training. This is our sixth video on tips and tricks of C Sharp. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to download a web page or a crawl a web page, entire web page using the simple three lines of C Sharp code. Right. So I'm using the console application project here. So let us call that as a uh, web page download. right so here now I'm going to show you download or crawl a web page right so before doing or before performing the operations uh, that can send or receive the data from to and from the internet resources we must include a namespace called system.net uh, before using any of those uh, classes or methods present in that namespace right using system.net so this gives you all the classes and methods that are uh, that are helpful for dealing with the internet resources so there is a class called web client which we need to create an instance for um, by doing so it gives you all the methods uh, that can be used to send and receive the data to or from the internet resources or internet servers okay so first I am using the where keyword to do so where uh, say client so it is simple variable name now I am using so now I am creating the instance of class called web client and now I can use this variable and there is a method called download string so where is that yes here it is so this will download the entire web page specified here mm, here we are going to specify the URL of the web page and it's going to download or retry the entire information present on the web page as the string format so here I'll say uh, http.angpro.com so this should be a valid web page present on the internet and now I'm going to store it in a variable called text which is a text format returned by this function and now I'm going to print that out on the console window text right so let me run this control F5 so here it is so this is the entire web page of the specified URL right can you see the entire HTML page starting from the doc type HTML so we have got uh, body tags inside got uh, too many divs all the divs until slash HTML right and this takes remember the download string method takes the URL in the form of string and it goes to this web page and downloads the entire HTML page in the form of bytes of string right and it will uh, store in the variable called text and that is going to be printed out on the console window so here is the web client class and the download string method I hope you understood this video please stay tuned for more tips and tricks well friends that's it for the class subscribe to our channel on YouTube like our page on Facebook follow us on Twitter and join our group on LinkedIn thank you